Well, this is just about five minutes after I put the feeders out. The only thing they uh, have collected so far is flies, but that's all right. Flies will leave here in a little bit. Got four feeders, about 25 pounds of sugar in each, and filled to the top with water. Well, almost to the top. Uh, between four and five gallons. Anyway, makes a pretty good thick mixture. I don't know if it's one to one, two to one, 1 1.3 to 5. I don't know what it is or care really. It just, uh, it works. And that's what I mix it with is uh, my drill with a paint mixer. And every one of them has uh, one cap full of Pro Health in it. That's just enough to where actually you can smell it real well and it uh, does its work. I've used more before, but uh, it seems like when you use more, the bees don't like it as much. So I give them just about enough that it's going to do some good. But not too much so it drives them off. This is five minutes after I've mixed them. And in a few minutes I'll come see what the bees are doing. <coughs> well, it was 11 o'clock when I put these guys out. And uh, now it's noon. And one bee right there. You flying around an hour later. Bunch of flies in that old hay down there. That's, uh, there's poison ivy under that, so I just covered it up. I gotta take it out. Anyway, one bee an hour later. Nothing else exciting going on. Maybe you raise this lid up a little bit here so I can get in a little bit better. That bee didn't, uh, care much for me uh, messing with it but anyway if you're wondering where my hives are that straw I've got in there and they're a generous amount of straw I found if I only put a little bit the uh, bees actually will uh, drown I have very little bit of drowning with a lot of straw my hives are back there that's my goats out there you can see there's a fence line and there's a field way back there then the other side of that field is the beehives and uh, that's probably 150, 200 yards away. Anyway, one hour later, not much going on. Let's check it out another hour while I go do some other stuff. Well, here it is another hour, and they're starting to wake up a little bit. Got a few more bees flying around. I am noticing that some of the bees are flying off uh, to the east of here. The east of here, there's two uh, wild collies and trees pretty high up. We were asked to get one out there about uh, 30 foot up the tree. The tree's living real strong and it's giant so uh, we said no. Not going to trap them out or anything. Just leave them there. And there's another collie. Some beekeepers tried to get out but when I looked at the tree uh, there's still a lot of bees in that tree. So there are two collies to the east of us here but I did notice a bunch of little rocket ships going off to the uh, north and coming in from the north and Rocket ships are usually my bees because uh, they don't act polite and calm when they find food. They just haul butt back and forth to the hive. Anyway, an hour later and more activity. Not much. So I imagine these bees are going to go back and wake up all the other sleeping bees and tell them to get busy over here. Unless, of course, they have a nectar source somewhere else and that's just fine too. It doesn't bother me a bit. So uh, either way. But uh, I did check the colonies and... Some of the nuke boxes I have out there didn't have any uh, any stores in them at all. And the other ones, the uh, bigger colonies, had some, but not enough. So that's why I'm feeding right now instead of later. This will be the last time I feed them till probably mm, end of August, maybe September sometime. Depends on what kind of, uh, what kind of uh, fall flow we have. Anyway, they're picking up a little energy. A few more bees coming and going. I imagine another hour or so it'll be swarming with bees and be kind of fun to watch. Well, now, three hours later, got quite a little bit of action. But nothing like it was the other day. And the reason for that is we got a thunderstorm overhead and it's rained off and on. Anyway, so some would say not a good day to feed bees, but they just add a little more water in the buckets and a little more water isn't going to hurt anything. And I did watch the bees because they're all flying to the east and what they're doing is going up over the house and going back behind the house and uh, going over to their bees. So I drove around back and took a look at the hives and 
Bees coming and going, heading this way. Other bees heading the other way, and surprisingly bringing in a bunch of pollen. And that's a good thing. Anyway, that's going to be it for today. These buckets might take a couple days to empty out. Last time it took one day. Anyway, later.